Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to work on the onboarding page. So in the previous lecture, we have uh, added a image view onto our launch screen over here. And we have persisted this image uh, on our loading view controller. So right after the launch screen is, uh, is, is uh, shown, it goes to the loading view controller. And uh, this is the part whereby it creates a very smooth transition because it looks like uh, there's going to be some kind of API call over here where it takes a while to load uh, for this view controller to decide which uh, page to show, whether the onboarding page or to the main app page on the tab bar controller. All right, so for this uh, lecture, we are just going to work on the onboarding page. Uh, also, we want to create a button whereby on click, uh, we will bring up the login sign up uh, page. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to remove this label over here. So I'm just going to select it and hit the delete button. All right, so I'm going to create a button over here. Uh, I'm going to click on the plus button and select and filter the button. All right, I'm going to drag the button right somewhere in the bottom over here. And I'm going to name it Get Started. All right, so a very simple button at the bottom. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to add some uh, auto layout over here. So let's click on this and I'm going to remove this constraints to margin. And under the bottom constraints, I want to select, uh, I want to put in 84. All right. And let's click on that again. Um, I want to set the left and right uh, trailing uh, anchor as well. Let's do 24 and 24. Alright, so over here we have the bottom anchor and the uh, leading and trailing anchor over here. I forgot to put the height, uh, so let's have it at 56, okay? So over here, let's uh, change the background color of the uh, button. I'm going to select uh, system green color over here. Yep, and um, I'm going to also change the text color to white. Alright, so if you are not seeing... Uh, this uh, system green uh, or any of these colors over here that could be because you are not on Xcode uh, 11 so just ensure that uh, you are on Xcode 11 and um, your uh, Xcode uh, minimum uh, version is at uh, iOS 13 so if you if I click over here onto the project itself um, the target is set to uh, iOS 13.2 so I believe if you are at if you are at at least 13.0, you should be able to have access to all these uh, features as well. All right. So I'm going to change the font of this. I'm going to click over here and I'm going to change the font to custom. And under the family, I'm going to select uh, Avenir Nix. All right. You can't really see it, but uh, it's just right above this uh, basket view. Basket view. I'll select Avenir Nix. And for the style, I'm going to select uh, medium. And maybe I'll just make it a 24, all right? Is 24 too big? Let me just uh, look at the reference very quickly. All right, I think 20 medium should be better. Okay, let us let me change this to 20. All right, let's just change this to... Okay, so uh, when the user clicks on the Get Started button, I want to be able to transit to the login and sign up page. All right, so what we want to do is to create a controller to control this um, onboarding uh, page. So over here on the controller folder, I'm going to right click and select a new file. So you know the drill, we're going to select the Swift file. And then I'm going to type in the uh, onboarding view controller. All right, hit the create button and uh, here's a new file. So we're going to import UI kit and let's do a class and let's type in onboarding view controller and this will inherit UI view controller. Same thing we want to do view did load super dot view did load. And then let's also do uh, setup views, shall we? Private fun setup views and uh, let's change the background color to maybe red. Okay, and let's not forget to call the setup views function uh, within the view the load function over here. So let me copy this and go back to the main dot storyboard. Click on this over here. Okay, make sure you're clicking on the right one. All right, and uh, I'm gonna just set this as the view controller. All right. 
So I'm going to the loading view controller right now and I'm going to set this as a uh, false and I'm going to run the app. So if when I select this as false, it will uh, perform this segue which would show me the onboarding uh, screen. All right. So, yep, this is what we're getting. We're getting the red background. So I know that this is uh, done correctly. So let's go to the main storyboard again. And uh, I'm going to uh, bring in a collection view. So let's uh, add a collection view. And I'm going to drag that right in here. And uh, just uh, make sure that you are dragging it all the way to the top over here. And let's kind of uh, drag it all the way to the end. All right, we don't have to be super accurate, uh, but let's... Uh, Let's bring that all the way to the right side and we want to make this a square. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, click over here and select and add some constraints over here. The top left and right, I'm going to set this as zero. And then um, let's hit the add three constraints. The next thing I want to do is I want to uh, set this as a square. So I have to set some kind of ratio over here. So I'm going to hit on to the control button. I'm going to hold on to control button on my keyboard. I'm going to click over here and drag. So as you can see, uh, this line pops up. And if I let go, I'm able to select this, uh, this, this window pops up. I'm able to select this aspect ratio. So let's click on that. All right, so this automatically sets a ratio based on whatever I have sized it up on the storyboard, which is, if you can't really see here, it says 207 uh, to the ratio of 203. So it's pretty much close to one to one, okay? But we're not gonna uh, do that. We're gonna make a very accurate change by clicking on the size inspector over here. And let's scroll down, we see that, hey, the aspect ratio is actually um, input over here. So let's click the edit button and let's uh, set the multiplier to be one to one. All right, when we do that and hit the enter button, we can be very sure that this will definitely be a square. All right, so guys, so let's, uh, I think we should also create uh, some kind of background color for the collection view so that it's easy to see. So I'm going to click on this uh, property inspector over here and let me go down to the background and maybe I'll just select a uh, group table view background color. All right. Okay. This will give me a little bit uh, a shade of gray over here. So it, it gives me some segregation and over here, this is the collection view cell. I'm just going to expand this a little bit. All right. And uh, maybe let's also create a color over here. I'm going to maybe select the system orange color. Okay. And below the collection view, I'm going to bring in something called a page control. So select this uh, plus button over here, click on that, and let's filter a page control. All right, so let's bring the page control somewhere uh, below the collection view. All right, and then let's expand this a little bit. Okay, it doesn't really matter how much, but let's put that somewhere at the bottom. And let's uh, add some uh, auto layout over here. Let's add some new constraints. Let's click on that. And I'm going to put this as uh, maybe uh, 16, all right, 16 from the top. And then we don't really have to bother about the left and right constraints over here. We can just click on add one constraint. And then after which, what we want to do is that we want to uh, we want to align this uh, horizontal in the container. So let's click on this one over here and click on add one constraint. And uh, we should be good to go, all right. So um, this page control, let's uh, have a look again. Uh, tint color, I want to set this as the uh, the gray over here. And then for the current page, uh, I want to select maybe the system orange color. Oh, maybe not. Let's, let's, let's use the um, system indigo color instead, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we have the page control right here, which is uh, very nicely placed below the collection view. And then we want to add uh, also some labels at the bottom. So let's click the plus button and let's uh, select label. Let's filter by label. And I'm going to drag this label just below the uh, section, uh, the segmented control. And let me just expand that a little bit. And <clears throat> I'm going to change the font of this uh, label over here. So firstly, I'm going to uh, center align this, the text align to set it to center. The font, I'm going to change this again to custom. Uh, family, I'm going to use Avenir Nix again. All right. And um, this time I want it to be um, maybe Demi Bow. And I want this to be maybe 24. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. 
Okay, just give me a while while I look at my reference. Um, let me both. Okay, let's make this 28 instead. Okay, 28. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to hold on to the alternate button. All right, onto my on my keyboard, hold on to the alternate button, click on this label and drag down. So what this does is that it makes a duplicate of the label. I'm going to let go both my uh, my mouse as well as my keyboard. So right now I have two labels uh, with the same property over here. Okay, and I'm going to put these two things uh, inside a stack view. So let me just click on one and hold on to the command key and click on the other label so that we have uh, both elements selected. And let's come over here to this uh, icon over here that has the, uh, it's called the embed in um, icon. Let's click on that. And you should see something called a stack view, all right, which is just below uh, this embed in view. You should see stack view. Let's click on that and it creates a stack view over here. All right. So what I want to do is that I want to just uh, put this somewhere in the middle and I'm going to add some uh, auto layout to it. Okay, so I'm going to click on this uh, add new constraints again, uh, remove this constraints to margin. And then over here, let's uh, maybe put this as uh, 24. And over here, the, the leading and the trailing, the left and right, I'm going to set this as 24 as well. All right. And I'm going to do add three constraints. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to select the stack view. All right, so on the left over here, if you can't see this, you should just click on this one over here to expand this. Let's select the stack view and just come over here to the property inspector. Again, if you don't have the right panel, just click on this button over here to expand. And um, under this alignment, click on it and let's select fill. Okay, so now the the uh, the labels will be centralized. Okay, and uh, what do we want to do next? Um, we want to create the uh, description over here. All right, so let's click on this one over here, and let's set the lines to be three. That means we allow we allow uh, the maximum of three lines if the text uh, over exceed. Uh, okay, and we're gonna select this over here, and we're gonna set this to regular. All right. And we are also going to change the size to 20. So let's change this to 20 and hit the enter button. All right, so I'm just going to type in some dummy text over here. I'm going to say, um, why use travel? Okay, question mark. And I'm going to double click on the, on the, uh, on the label at the bottom. And I'm just going to type in travel uh, allows you to travel around the world make new friends and create memorable experiences. All right, hit the enter button and it should uh, drop to three lines over here. All right, so it looks pretty neat now. And um, the last thing we want to do is to uh, handle this get started button where when we click on this get started button, it will show the login sign up page. Yeah, for the collection view, we will probably do that in the subsequent uh, lessons. All right, so uh, let's come over to the um, onboarding view controller and let's create an IB action over here. So we want to do add IB, ac uh, IB action func and it's called and we, let's call this uh, getting started button tap oh sorry it's get started button tap all right let's have it get started button tap and then let's uh, open and close with the uh, parenthesis and let's expand this and, and also let's not forget to do underscore sender uh, colon ui button okay over here and uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, let me just do a print statement here and say get started button tap all right, and the next thing we want to do is to connect this uh, IB action. So let's come over to the main storyboard and let's uh, let's wait for it to load and let's right click over here. So let's select the onboarding view controller. Let's right click over here and we see this uh, receive actions. Under receive actions, we see this get started button tab, which is the one that we just created. Let's click on this plus button as we hover over to this circle. It, there's this uh, plus uh, icon that shows up. Let's click on that and drag it all the way to the get started button and let go. And when you let go, uh, another uh, 
uh, menu uh, shows up where we get to select something over here and let's select this touch up inside okay so it's over here touch up inside let's click on that and let's uh, select that all right guys so if, if let's say uh, in in an event if you select that wrongly so what you need to do is to reset this uh, what you can do is to come over here all right and you can actually destroy this by clicking the X button to remove this uh, this uh, IB action reference and redo that again. Okay, if you messed up, this is the way you should remove this and uh, attempt to reconnect the IB action. All right, touch up inside. All right, the last thing we want to do is that we have this uh, segue over here that we have created a long time ago, <laughs> a couple of lessons ago, I mean. Let's copy this, show login sign up, and let's come over here to our constants, and we are going to add a new uh, record over here. So let's sh let's type in static let uh, show login sign up screen, and then we're just going to put the show login sign up text over here, which we just copied from the uh, storyboard. All right, so let's save this. Let's go back to the uh, onboarding view controller. And uh, let's, uh, let me see, what, what do we have over here? Unexpected identifier. I think that should be fine. Let me just click the run button to build the project and run it on the simulator. I think it should be working fine. Okay, so as I click on the get started button yes I do see the text being printed on the console so what I can do right now is that I can perform the segue so uh, let me remove this and I type in perform segue and now with this identifier because we have already added that record on the constants uh, file let's do k dot segue dot uh, show login sign up screen and under the sender, we can just pass in nil. All right. So let's run the simulator one more time and let's click on the button. And uh, we should see the login sign up screen showing up. All right. So let me click the get started button over here. And yep, I see the login sign up screen uh, showing up. And I can actually uh, dismiss this by clicking over here and just bringing it down. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you like this uh, lesson. And this is all. this is all I have for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.